a d i k a I'm t i n g i f e i Hi, and I'm Kathy j i f e i Now we're ready to kick off our first recipe: yellow curry chicken. It's pretty mild, and it's one of our favorite dishes. So, Mom, get us started on this dish. Okay, for yellow curry chicken, we need one can of coconut milk. Okay, and that's a 13.5 ounce can. So, at first, we need only a half can. And I'm going to turn the heat on. We use low heat for now because we don't want to burn the coconut milk. Okay. And next, what do we need? Three tablespoons of yellow curry paste. And now, what's the difference between yellow and red curry? Yellow curry has turmeric in it. Uh huh. And that makes it yellow. Like yellow. Okay. So you're waiting for the coconut milk to boil before you add in the curry. Uh huh. Okay. This is boiling now. So three tablespoons of this. And what is yellow curry made of exactly? Uh, it's made out of fresh garlic, fresh shallot, mm -hmm. lemongrass, coriander seed, cumin seed, red chili pepper, turmeric. Sounds good. And then in old time, they put all these ingredients in the mortar and smash them up together, make it into a paste. Oh, okay. And your grandma, every time she cook curry, she make it from scratch. I turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, you never want to let your uh, coconut milk boil too much because it loses its nice fresh flavor and it becomes a little oily. And that's also why you don't add it all in at once because you like to keep adding it in gradually. That way, you get the nice coconutty flavor. And when you can smell the aroma of coconut milk and the curry paste, you can add quarter cup of fish sauce in. Okay. So we let the coconut milk and the chili paste mix well together with fish sauce. Then we put in a little over three pounds of cut up chicken, and I use the whole thing. Even the back part, it gives good flavor to the curry anyway. Now, how many servings is this going to make? Four to five. We can turn up the heat a little bit, and if you feel that the sauce is a little too dry, you can add a little more coconut milk. Now, what do you base that on? I mean, how would you think it was too dry? The sauce is supposed to cover the chicken. Okay, I add a little water, a little bit at a time. This is about two cups of water I have here, but eventually I probably use it up. I'm gonna simmer chicken a little bit and cover it up. And while you do that, we're gonna cut the potatoes. I have two pounds of a variety of young potato here, and you can use any kind of potato. And I just cut this into bite size. I put potato in with the chicken. And how long do you have to cook it at this point? Uh, it probably take 10 minutes to cook potato. I'm gonna add some water. So add enough water to cover the meat and potato. And this is a great curry for beginners because it's pretty mild and still got a good curry taste without being real spicy. And I'll add a little bit of coconut milk. Save some for the last finishing touch. We add a little more water, so enough liquid to cover potato and chicken. And I'm gonna cover it up. Cook it about 10 minutes on low heat. So it has been 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I check my chicken. Ooh, it looks so good. And of course, the water cooked down a little bit. So I want to thicken the sauce a little bit. So I have one teaspoon of cornstarch. Okay. And I dilute it with a little water here. Okay. And now, why do you put it in the water first? Why don't you just dump it in? Uh, otherwise, it will get lumpy. Okay. Put it in and stir. Now be sure to stir it immediately after you dump in the cornstarch, because otherwise, like you, you said, you'll get little lumps and uneven sauce, right? You might get a cornstarch ball. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. Okay, this looks good. The last thing is the coconut milk. Yeah, and that gives it a fresh flavor at the end. 
maybe 20 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. cookie time and that's it. It's all good to go. So now all you're gonna do is just put it in a nice bowl to serve it, of course. Mmm, this yellow curry chicken smells so great. We've just about finished preparing our yellow curry chicken, but of course the dish isn't complete without a cool and crispy cucumber salad. Thai people always love to have cucumber salad with some curry dishes because they complement curry perfectly. So the first thing you need for cucumber salad is dressing. For cucumber salad dressing, mm -hmm. we need a cup of white vinegar. Okay. Half cup sugar. Mm-hmm and one teaspoon salt. Okay. And we're gonna cook this on low heat. Okay. And how long are you gonna cook that for? Just for a few minutes. You want the sugar and the salt to dissolve into the vinegar. I once made this cucumber salad for some of my friends and I kind of forgot that you needed to cook the sugar and and salt in the vinegar, and so I, it, you know, I kept tasting it, and I was like, it's always too sour. So I ended up adding like half a bag of sugar. I'm not even kidding. Um, <laughs> and then it tasted normal, I guess, but I feel really bad for them because they ate a lot of sugar. That day. <laughs> I don't think I ever told you that story. Okay, I think everything is well melt incorporated. Down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. And you need to let that cool let before you cool. pour it over, right? But it's got to be at least room temperature or cooler in order to pour it over yourself, uh -huh. right? Okay, great. Let's move on to those cucumbers. Okay, I'm going to slice like three cups of cucumber. Okay. And you can use any kind of cucumber. Mm -hmm. So you slice into a bite size. you're moving on to red onions, right? Uh-huh. So I probably cut about half. And next I'll cut two of these sweet pepper. You can also substitute red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. Uh-huh. Just the most colorful salad. We've got our dressing, it's cooled down to room temperature, and you just pour it over salad and mix it up, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to put this dressing on too far ahead before serving it, right? The vinegar soaks too far into the cucumbers and then it gets really sour. Toss it real quick and serve it to your guests. This cucumber salad is gonna go great with our yellow curry chicken. Let's plate it all up. Mmm, I can't wait to try this. Looks so good. Uh-huh. You serve curry with steamed jasmine rice. Okay. This is hot. Looks so good. <laughs> and jasmine rice, of course, is the Thai rice of choice. Okay. Alright, so you got a generous scoop of rice. And now Thais just typically serve it on the side, or do they pour it on top? Oh, uh -huh. Okay, so they pour it over the rice. Yum, yum. And to complement our uh, curry, we've got the cucumber salad cucumber that we salad. just made. Okay, hmm. this is your plate. Well, this yellow curry chicken and cucumber salad turned out just perfectly. Thank you.